of today's chapter is His First Flight by Liam O. Flattery. Before going into the chapter, I would like to introduce to you one of my own stories. Look at this pool, all the kids having so much fun. I would like to tell you about my own experience of going to the swimming class for the first time. There were many kinds of kids. They were having a lot of fun. Some were even crying like this one you see in the small pool. So I was very much afraid and the pool I went to was very big and there were even bigger kids swimming in it. I was really afraid and above all these things my father was a great swimmer he wanted me to be a good swimmer and he brought me there but i was not ready to go into the pool whoever said what and i didn't care i was not ready to take my first step when they tried to dip me into the water i cried a lot and then came a day when some trainers from some other institution came up to teach us. And what did they do? They put me inside the water and kept me there for a few minutes. I started crying a lot. And I was not ready to go to the swimming class after that. And you know what my father did after that? My father kept me over there for many days just on the bank not on the pool i went on looking at the kids over there but still i had no courage to take my first leap into the pool then one day my father pushed me from the back into the pool i know it was very harsh i could have drowned but he had believed in me that by looking at the kids for so long and i have looked at them while they were training so i have learned a bit from just looking at them and he was there trying to save me and that push gave me a new sight in front of me i was very happy i started flapping my legs and my hands and ultimately after a few such steps or leaps of faith i learned how to swim if that day my father was not that harsh to me I would not have been able to start swimming. So I just wanted to tell you this story to let you know that there are several such of several such fears in our life which we try to overcome with little help from our parents, from our friends, from our guides, from our teachers, and we step into that faithful region where we take the first leap. We are going to learn a story related to this topic today. The topic is Leap of Faith and the name of the story is First Flight, a baby bird's story. The main objectives why we are learning this story is Number one, courage is the key to all success. If we don't gather our courage to take the first step we won't even lead a successful life. We have to forget our fears sometimes and take that final leap of faith as I have done during my swimming lessons. As we do every day when we make many kind of decisions. Number three, parents are only harsh to make us strong and to prepare us for the coming challenges of our life. major points that we should remember from the story is that there was a young seagull who was left on his ledge alone a small seagull left on his cliff ledge means cliff he was alone as his brothers and sisters have flown away from that ledge and as he has not learned how to fly he was stuck there alone 
he was not being able to fly. That is why he was alone over there. His parents, his two brothers and sisters all have flown away from that cliff. But he was the only one who was there as he was not ready to take the leap of faith and to fly like the others. He was afraid to run forward to the brink of the ledge, that is to let go. Brink of the ledge means at the edge of the cliff. He was not ready to go to the edge of the cliff and then let go of himself. He was ready to just take the jump. Have anybody of you done a paragliding? Paragliding is a kind of gliding into the air where you take the first leap of faith when you take a leap from the brink of the ledge or the edge of a cliff and then you fly, you fly into the sky and you can see everything beneath you. It's a beautiful experience. Flying is something like that. He tried several times to take that leap of faith, but he failed every time because he lacked courage. He could not gather enough courage. He was punished by his parents. How he was punished by his parents? They did not give him food. And they said, unless and until you start flying, you show us that you can fly. We are not going to give you any food. The parents are being harsh again. Just like my father, they are even telling the little bird that they are not going to supply any kind of food to the little bird unless and until he flies. At last, his mother brought him some fish. His mother flew up to the, that cliff, near that cliff, with some fish in, his, in her beak. And he flew near the cliff, near the edge of the cliff. He leaned forward to grab and eat it. The little seagull came to the brink of the cliff or the ledge and he wanted to grab that fish from his mother's mouth. And as he tried to lean, the mother went back and he fell from the cliff. Instantly, he started using his flying skills. Just like me, when my father pushed from my back into the water and I started using my swimming skills as I have learned from those days. Similarly, the little bird fell into the air and he started using his flying skills to save himself. He flew. He was astonished himself that he was flying. He was happy. His family was happy too because at last he has learned how to fly and has gathered the courage to take the leap of faith though it happened accidentally but still he has been successful in doing whatever his parents or he wanted to do for the challenges that are about to come in his life in future my question to you is what are you afraid of it can be anything Getting started with your academic syllabus. Are you afraid of getting started with your academic syllabus before your exam? You're always afraid that what will happen if I could not finish it? What will happen if the questions come from outside the syllabus? Are you afraid of it? So I think it's time for you to be courageous and take a leap of faith on your teacher, on your guide, on your parents, and especially on yourself. And take that leap of confidence and faith. Maybe you're telling your you're not being able to tell your parents about your absolutely innermost wishes. Or maybe telling your friends that you don't like something, you don't want to think uh, that they are wrong. Or maybe sometimes confessing a truth. What are you actually afraid of? Think and make a list of those things which you are afraid of where you are still not ready to be courageous, still not ready to take that leap of faith. Meanwhile, let us have a look at the various important meanings of the chapter. Number one, ledge. Ledge is a cleave over here. Number two, upbraiding. Upbraiding means scolding. The mother bird was upbraiding the little sea girl when he was not ready to take the leap or not ready to take the flight. 
to skim to skim means to lightly move on the surface his brothers and sisters and the parents were lightly moving on the surface of the blue ocean just below the cliff okay now comes herring herring is a kind of sea fish which his mother and his siblings were having preening preening means making an effort to maintain feathers okay sometimes you would find the birds preening themselves they are cleaning and uh, making an effort to maintain their feathers to wait to wait means to sharpen what the birds do very often they wait their beaks to make them sharp okay they wait their beaks to make them sharp on the different kind of rocks and edges of stones to make them sharper derisively derisively means in a manner showing that someone is stupid when you look at your friend who is not getting your point while you are trying to make him or her understand when the teacher is already teaching and he is or she is still not being able to get you then you'd look derisively at your friend that what a stupid person you are you're not getting me that look is called derisively dizzy dizzy is the uncomfortable feeling of spinning and losing balance sometimes when we are going by an aeroplane we find ourselves to be a little dizzy sometimes taking a ride in a huge merry-go-round makes us feel dizzy over here as the little seagull takes his first leap into the air and he starts falling from that height he feels little dizzy and then he takes his flight curvetting means leaping like a horse that is making or jumping out like a horse that means curvetting who were curvetting his parents and his brothers and sisters were curvetting or jumping or leaping like horse when they found him doing all those antics on the air next is banking banking means over here flying with one wing higher than the other wing you can see this motion of the birds several times when you are watching discovery so i think all the meanings and the summary of the chapter is clear to you through this powerpoint presentation we will go on with the questions and answer through the pdf and through our live interactive classes thank you